Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's time to hop to. D-Hop 2 is an 8.5% double IPA from Equilibrium Brewery in Middleton, New York. The first time I got to check out an Equilibrium beer was back in 2019. They did a special release. It was just around the Metro Detroit area. I did a live stream with like four different beers and then the homes hold four different beers. It was a big, it was a thing. And since then, I haven't really gotten a chance to check out any of their beers, but they have started to distribute a little bit more regularly here in Southeast Michigan, which brings us to our beer today, D-Hop 2 which is actually part of a series, which I also didn't know until I started researching, you know, information about this specific beer. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Chad Shirk, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just throw me a couple bucks to buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com, where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks, including some patron-only giveaways that's new for this month. So let's take a look at this label. On the front, it has, it looks like it's uh, kind of like you're going down into this tunnel and it says across the top, it has the equilibrium circle, it says equilibrium brewery. And then underneath at the bottom here, it says D-Hop 2 Double India Pale Ale. It's 8.5% alcohol by volume. It's a really cool label because it's really uh, very nice and reflective. It's got a, a little grid pattern going on behind the tunnel view, it looks. It's just a really interesting looking label. I like Equilibrium's graphic design. They do a good job on all these different beer labels. It says on the side here, help us ensure cold chain. Purchase cold, trade cold, keep cold. If it's not cold, ask why. And again, brewed and canned by Equilibrium Brewery in Middletown, New York. On the other side is just a government warning. This one was uh, canned on September 3rd, 2021, which is about yeah, a little bit more than a month and a half ago. I'm okay with that. I usually like to... Um, you know, give, give them a little bit of chance to, you know, the, let the beer age a little bit. I mean, not that much. You probably want to go six weeks. This is probably prime time for me to open this beer. You want to go on, a, on an IPA like this. You know, I'm going to stay away from saying New England style IPA, but on an IPA like this, you probably want to go like four to six weeks. Eight weeks is probably kind of pushing it. So we're right around those six weeks. So we're going to go ahead and crack it and put a nose on the can here. Smells very citrusy, very citrus forward, bright citrus. Smells very much like, um, like orange rind, orange peel rind. There's a little bit of a dankness in there. Let's go ahead and pour this. And it's coming out uh, pretty much a golden yellow. Doesn't look too hazy coming out of the can, but in the glass, it looks like there is a bit of hate. Well, actually, it's a lot clearer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot hazier. Looking at about eh, two and a half to three fingers of head, it's just a little bit off-white. It's shading a little bit towards an orange, slightly yellow-colored head. Uh, again, that could be the light reflecting from the beer because that is what the beer looks like. It is, actually, there's a lot of particulate, a lot of matter floating in this beer. It is relatively, it's relatively clear in the respect that I can see my fingers, I can see like the... Um, the, the, you know, the folds, the wrinkles in, on my fingers, but I can see a lot of particulate matter kind of floating around in there. Probably a lot of, you know, stuff from the hopping uh, and whatnot. Let's put a better nose here on the glass. Yeah, getting about the same thing. Maybe getting a, less, a little bit less of that orange rindy smell that I was getting out of the can, but I'm getting, it's got a lot of citrus notes to it. It smells, you know, pretty, has a little bit of a dankness to it. Let's go ahead and try this out. And looking again, the head has just hang, hung on. It is very dense, very compact. It has been there. It's not loose at all. And it really hasn't faded much. I think it started to come over the rim of the glass a little bit on the pour. But at this point, it's pretty much like it's just sitting under the rim. So let's give it a shot. Cheers. Talking about the mouthfeel first. It's got a little bit more of a thicker, heavier mouthfeel than what I'm usually used to on an IPA and a double IPA. Um, it's not, it's almost, it, it's, it's not light and crisp, but it's just, a, it's got a little bit of a chewy kind of mouthfeel to it. It's got a little bit of a chewier mouthfeel for an IPA. IPAs generally are a little bit, you know, crisper than this. So it ha definitely has that kind of chewy mouthfeel. There is a bit of a softness to it. So you know it's there, right? It's not just like instantly gone. It, there's definitely a thickness to it. Let's go ahead and talk about the taste here.
lots of citrus, lots of sweet citrus up on the upfront. Has a bit of a almost a bit of a tangerine kind of flavor to it. It's got that that kind of orangey sweetness, but on the flip side of that, once it hits the back of your tongue, once that sweetness subsides, which is actually pretty quick, uh, the, the, the sweetness really just kind of faded out into this really strong, and the aftertaste is really still hanging on there, really strong um, citrus bitterness, like a lot of kind of rindy bitterness. Uh, definitely has a lot of that orange peel kind of bitterness. I'm not really picking up on any kind of, um, not picking up on any kind of like real piney bitterness or earthy bitterness a lot. It's just, this is like, this is like Orange City, right? If this, if you're looking for an IPA that has a lot of those orangey kind of qualities, this is that IPA. Uh, it, again, it has that sweet tangerine on the upfront, then it kind of hits that, that just almost, not immediately, but very quickly within a second or two, that sweet orange flavor is gone and you're hitting that, that uh, orangey, rindy, uh, peel kind of citrus bitterness. It has a, actually a little bit of a candied kind of orangey flavor, but it comes and goes really quick. I mean, it's like a flash. It's, I would say probably a second or two, just having it, you know, when it first hits your taste buds, you're getting that sweetness, that orange sweetness, that tangerine sweetness. And then again, like almost immediately, it starts to dry out your mouth a little bit and it gives you uh, a really kind of kickback. It kicks back a lot of this, again, like orange peel, orange, specifically orange um, bitterness, like rindy bitterness. It almost touches a little bit on, you could almost consider it to be like borderline West Coast IPA. That's how bitter it gets. It's really in that bitter realm and it's kind of refreshing to see. I was expecting going in this totally, you know, no lie, expecting that this was gonna be like a hazy or New England style IPA, gonna get a whole lot of sweetness, maybe, you know, a little bit overpowering sweetness but it, it really is almost the total opposite of that. It's a lot of sweetness, very upfront, but very quick and immediate. And, and then in a flash, it turns into that uh, bitter orange peel kind of bitterness that, that you, you know, expect. You, maybe more resinous for West Coast. You know, West Coast IPAs are a little bit more resinous. This one is definitely more orange. Again, if you're looking for an orange beer, like orange beginning, orange sweetness, orange bitterness, I think D-Hop too. <laughs> is going to be right up your alley. All right, friends, that has been D-Hop 2 from Equilibrium Brewery. Have you had this beer before? Have you had any of the other beers in the D-Hop series? If so, what did you think? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite, or you might avoid a dud if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Middletown, New York. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.